Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress WB list tutorial for beginners and this is our part 9. In this video session guys, we will discuss that how can we handle our edit and delete operations to our WP list table. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get the clear concept about part number 9. And now for the existing code guys, we have uploaded all the code to this github link. You can download that code from there. Okay. So basically guys in our previous video session, we have developed this WP list table where we have made some of the customization buttons like edit and delete into our title section as well as we have made a separate column for our actions called edit and delete operation. Okay. So if we back to editor. So by the help of this plugin guys called OWT list table we have made our custom WP list table okay and this is the file basically responsible to display our WP list table okay so basically guys in our previous video sessions we have used and uh, this is the method actually just I want to find and the function is something called here okay column title so this is the method guys that we have made for our edit and delete operation okay so in this video session guys we want that how can we handle these operations means if someone click on edit section so as we know that there is some parameters that we have added to our query string something called action and this is the post id it means that this is the post id and we want something called edit operation okay and also if you click on that so this is edit operation and the post id is 24 okay so how can we handle that so for that we have to make a separate layout for that by rendering on that layout we actually read this post id we have to fetch all the details of this post id and now we have to update that okay so just go to editor so this is the plugin main file okay so before that inside this function we have to read the query string parameters that we have passed right here inside this url okay so we have to read this action okay so let's say that action is set let's say that request or let's say get this is called action copy this and let's say that action so basically if this action if this action is something called if action equal to something called OWT edit okay basically this is for the edit operation so if we paste that so by getting this parameter as in action we want to retrieve the post ID okay so next parameter that we have to retrieve called the post ID so let's say that post ID is something called it's set get this is post ID okay so if I copy this get post ID let me call int val integer value of this post id and empty value for this okay so by getting this edit it means that we want we are going to perform our edit operation with this post id first of all we have to retrieve all the details of this post id okay else this is the content we have to render okay this is wp list table so just i want to paste inside this else block okay so just go to views folder let's me create a file this is basically a simple PHP file basically for the edit operation okay so let's do wt edit function dot php so basically guys inside this file we have to write our means normal code that actually render all the details about this post id okay so behind the scene guys i have a simple form so just i'm going to copy this form and paste inside this php page Okay. so this is the simple form that we have made where it takes some of the content section like title content and the post slug okay and finally this is a simple button actually by clicking on this button we are going to update this information okay so just back to main plugin file and now let's say that if the operation is edit operation so in that case we have to use the file called our edit file that we have made okay so basically instead of this file we are going to call our OWT let's say edit and function okay so this is the file that we have to include so if you go to browser reload this page so this is the form guys that we have made and this form actually rendered by getting these parameters so just back to editor now we have to retrieve all the details of this post id24 okay so just back to editor and let's say that OWT edit function so basically if you write let's say that php 
let's say that post detail there is a function in WordPress called get post okay inside this function guys we actually want to provide the post ID so by the help of that ID this function will take all the details from our WP post table and it will return all the details to this variable okay so inside this variable guys inside this function we have to pass the post ID okay so this is the post ID actually we are taking from our query string okay so we have to pass inside this function so just I'm going to copy and let's say that print R passed inside this function save this file reload this page and now here is the detail as we can see so if we inspect that these are the details of post ID 24 as we have taken from the database okay so now we have to retrieve the title content and the post slug okay so these all are the keys inside this object WP post object okay so just back to editor and let's say that if we get rid of that let's say print R just remove this go to your title section and let's say that inside this value attribute here we have to write echo let's say that post detail and we have a key called post title okay so just save this file again I'm going to copy this code go to text area paste here and let's say that instead of post title we have called a key something called post content okay and inside post slug we have a key called post underscore name okay so just save this file go to browser reload this page close this inspect and now these are the details guys that we have fetched from our post ID 24 okay so just I'm going to click on this WP list table again I'm going to click on this test post 11 and these are the details of test post 11 okay content in this section is empty so if you go to post section let me feed some dummy post details of this test post 11 so let's say that this is some dummy text okay so if you click on update reload this page and now this is the dummy data okay so by clicking on this button guys we're going to update the details according to this post ID okay so simply we have to use called WPDB update method for update data okay so basically guys we have discussed about these methods in great detail in our plugin development series okay so basically for update method we have to use actually I'm going to give you the summary of this video okay so just we are going to update this by putting some codes like here we have to declare called global WPDB okay so by the help of WPDB we have a method called update okay so basically inside this update method first parameter that we have to pass called the table name okay so basically these are the information of our WP post table okay so first parameter we have to pass called the post table it will return something called WP post table okay so we have to update all the information to this table okay on the behalf of ID in the second parameter we have to pass inside an array called the updated values okay so basically we are going to update our post title so we have to actually write our updated value here in the post content we are going to update with the updated content here and finally we have to update the post slug okay so we have to write post slug okay and in the third parameter of this update method we have to pass an array inside this array we have to put our conditions on the behalf of that condition actually we are going to update these values okay so basically we are going to update this row by the help of this post ID okay so basically just copy that let's say that when ID equal to post ID when ID equal to post ID then on the behalf of this ID we are going to update this row okay so basically guys this is a simple query that you have to write to update the detail okay so we are not going to update these details because we have learned too many times in our plugin development series about our update queries so if we move back to our WP list table so just I'm going to click on this menu icon and now when we click on delete button so on the clicking on delete button we have to run a query this query is for update operation okay so this is for the update okay so what query we have to write in case of delete so let's say that delete let's say WPDB this is the delete method okay so inside this delete method guys the first parameter that we have to pass called the table name okay so basically this is the table name and from this table we are going to delete that record okay so on the behalf of in the second parameter we have to pass the condition okay so by making or satisfying that condition we have to delete that row from this table 
okay so on the behalf of id so basically this is the post id okay so on the behalf of this post id what actually we are getting from this query string so if we click on delete button this is the post id okay so by getting this id from the query string we are going to delete this row from this table okay so we have to use this query for our delete operation for the edit operation we have to use this query okay so this is the video session or playlist about wp list table guys actually i have teached or we have learned about many times about these queries in great detail in our plugin development series you can watch our, about these methods from there so here guys i have explained about the basic concepts of wp list table and also about the operations of edit and delete okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day